entering the theatre suite. Since there is often a lack of lockers in the theatre changing rooms, it is advisable not to take any valuables into theatre. Where possible, rings should be removed as the incidence of glove perforation is higher when they are present and there is an increased risk of skin reaction below rings due to the concentration of scrub solution. Ear rings may be left in place as long as they are contained under the theatre hat. The hair should be covered with a hat or hood and a set of theatre scrubs donned with the top tucked into the trousers. Few items, if any, should be kept in the pockets as they may injure patients during transfers. Appropriate footwear should be clean, well-fitting and provide protection from falling items. The use of overshoes should be discouraged, as well as increasing the possibility of slipping on wet floors. They have been shown to increase the bacterial floor count and to increase hand contamination due to the handling of the overshoes during their removal. Theatre scrubs and shoes should never be worn outside the theatre area. If, for any reason, you leave the theatre, the scrubs must be changed on your return. Before entering the operating theatre, it is advisable to identify the door that leads into the scrub room, as the other doors lead into the recovery exit room and the anaesthetic room, where procedures are often being undertaken.